Hey guys, I hope you're doing well and welcome back to my channel. So, this is the second attempt of me trying to film this. I did try to film this unboxing last week, but however, our resident rabbit Katsu decided to make that completely impossible. So now I've switched rooms, I was filming in the bedroom and I was like, oh wait, I'm only filming an unboxing, so I'm actually on like the floor in our front room, like by the kitchen. So, in front of the window, so now I will not be disturbed by any rabbits, although Saying this, the rats will probably make up and start making a bunch of noise, but anyway. So today I'm going to be doing an, unbo an unboxing of the Joker Nendroid. I got this uh, a week or so ago now from a site called Toto's Toys. I thought it was going to be quite difficult to get this in the UK, but apparently not. And I found, it's, uh, I found it on the site in stock and I got it for £50 and obviously it was free shipping because it was in the UK so I was really happy about that because I didn't want to have to pay customs or anything. And I got it within a few days and it's just been sat on my shelf and I've still been like dying to open it. So I'm really excited. Obviously you know I've all, yeah I've been obsessed with Persona 5 like the entirety of, of the year and like I've always loved Persona itself but P5 like I I can say now because I just finished the game um, a week or two ago. Oh my god, that game is like no other. If you want me to do like a full on depth analysis kind of like review of P5, then I will be more than happy to do so. I'm not going to talk any more about it because I'll be here forever and this is an unboxing, not a P5 re review video. But yeah, this is the Nendroid itself, Joker. Uh, they have made other P5 Nendroids, I really want Futaba and I think Yusuke is coming out very soon as well but I had to start off with Joker himself. So yeah, I'm going to show you the box first of all. He looks, oh, he looks dashing, Joker is pretty. And we have the official Atlas look, uh, seal here, it's number 989. If you don't know, I am a, ah well, see I tried to put everything back nicely but that's just going to... You know what, what we'll do, we're going to take him out first and then I'll show you, and then I'll show you the box uh, empty because I have already taken, I can get my finger out under here, because I've already taken the plastic or everything off, obviously because I tried to film this last week, um, so I haven't got any plastic stuff to take off because that was kind of also a, something I should have done beforehand, so yeah. This is the box now. This just shows her, like the, the, the uh, different poses he can do. Oh, he's so cool. I also love the colour scheme of this box. It's just, just P5 all over. It's awesome. And I'm definitely going to keep this. I'm an avid collector of Nendroids. They're like the main anime figure I like, to, I like to collect. Mainly because I like the chibi style. I like that they're small and they're like easy to display and they don't take up tons of space. And I really like how you how they come with lots of like parts and like the different face place and expressions and I just think it's really cool and they're really really fun to photograph as well so that's why I love Nendroid so I'm gonna put that there yeah it also comes with obviously an instruction booklet if you need the instructions it's just got a list of all the parts and everything I mean it's not that difficult it just all sort of slots together and um, I don't really need that because I've got loads of Nendroids and then we have the base parts here and then oh this is so cool this is um if you play persona then you know what this is this is kind of like the screen that will come up when you hit a persona with a super effective uh, attack so this is kind of a cool screen that, that you can place in front of joker's eyes and then you could like get some really cool shots of that so that's really really nice the main star of the show himself is joker so let's get the plastic off very loud so I'm gonna get him out and give him a, his close-up that he's been dying for and then I can finally display him da -da -da. hey oh, look at Joker he's so pretty I love Joker so much I'll try and give you as good a close-up as, as I can with this they've done such a good job with this um I love the, the, the detailing on his phantom thief outfit I have to say, if I was ever going to cosplay like a boy at, um, game or anime character, it would definitely be true. Like, he's so, he's just so cute and hot. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Steven will always joke about how much I fancy Joker, it's hilarious. But we all know Joker is a very pretty boy, as most anime boys are. So yeah, 
Here is all the rest of the parts. Um, we have his other, his like phantom, uh, his persona like mask, his other expression. We have like, I think this is like the thief I think or something. We have his weapons, we have, yeah, yeah, this, this wasn't gonna work. Um, we have his mask there, we have other body parts. So I will try to just have a little play about and put together um, a different pose. Okay, so I've just placed his gun in his hand and I thought it might be cool if I showed you kind of like the base premise of what the ninja would do. So basically for the face, like the head part will come off, his hair will, and then the face will come off. And that's where you can slot in his other face things. So for this, I see I'm going to give him his super charge mode facial expression. I don't know what you call it to be honest. Just like, don't mess with me. I am the leader of the Phantom Thieves. Uh, can this? Yeah. Now I'm doing this on camera. This is obviously just going like, to go completely wrong. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I wasn't putting it in the right place whatsoever. And then this will just slot in on the front there. Plop. Mm, plop. I don't know what that was. So yeah, oh, he looks awesome. He looks so cool. He is ready to take down some shadows now. And I've also put together the base itself. For the base, basically, yeah, it's just this part goes in there and the thin bit goes in Joker. It's nothing. Oh, yep, his gun just came out. Uh, yeah, he, nothing. Oh no, his leg came off. Yeah, I knew this this was gonna happen. That's the only thing with androids is you kind of like you've got to be quite careful. Um, once you like put them together, you gotta be very gentle. Yeah, I'm definitely not the best at putting putting them together, but they are really cool and really fun to play about with. Especially if you have like all the characters from the scenes. You you can um, make some really cool uh, things up with that. And I follow some photography accounts on Instagram who like make up proper scenarios with their androids. It's really really cool. Oh, but yes, he looks incredible. He looks so cool. And also, I figured out that, that extra random part here was a stand. So you can place it in front of him like that and then you can take some really cool shots. I think that's really awesome. So I'm really excited to play about that so, so far. I mean, I know this is a pretty short video, but I just really fancy doing a little unboxing of Madoka and Android, as I know some, some of you guys are into Persona 5 as well. If you, if you do play it, tell me down below which character is your favourite. I like Food Harbour and Joker the most. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye!